In this video, I show you how to set any song as your alarm sound on your iPhone. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. The first thing you'll need to do is go and download or open up GarageBand. Now you're probably thinking, I've seen loads of guys using GarageBand and it's a really slow method. Don't worry, I've got a really great method here, completely unique. So let's get right into this. If you haven't already got GarageBand, then just go and open up the App Store, go and click on search and then go and type in GarageBand and you can go and download it, it's completely free. Uh, as you can see, I've already got it and then you want to go and open it up. Now, when you first open GarageBand, it's gonna go and sort of introduce you to the app and give you a few sort of instructions and things like that. And just make sure you go and allow access to your microphone for GarageBand. But then after you've gone and click continue, you're gonna be on this page here. Make sure tracks is selected at the top and then swipe across until you can go and see the option for audio recorder. So go and tap on audio recorder just like so. And now I'm going to explain how this guide is going to work. So what we can actually do is go and record um, the music or the song you want to go and use as your alarm on from another computer. So we can record it using our mic on our phone from another device. It could be a phone, a tablet, um, a console, literally anything. As long as it outputs sound, we can go and record it and then we can go and use it as our alarm sound. And I'll show you exactly how. Now the next thing you want to do is make this track a bit longer. As you can see, it stops at eight. So go and tap on the plus button just like so. And we want to go and make the section A some more bars. So go and tap on bars then go and tap on manual and just go and increase it to 20 or 30 it's up to you I'm going to do 25 and then hit back and that's the main thing and then go and press off of that the next thing you want to do is go and turn off this thing which makes a really annoying clicking sound so to the right of the recording button which is the red dot we've got this thing which is blue uh, which looks like a something hitting something else so go and tap on it as you can see it goes gray and this means it's turned off so now you should be ready to go and record the sound which you want to be your alarm sound so let's go and do this so all you need to do is go and press on that red record recording button in the top in the middle um, and make sure you angle your phone directly at the speaker where the sound's coming from. So I'm going to go and do that now and I'll catch up with you once I've gone and recorded it and you've gone and recorded yours. So I've just finished recording the sound which I want to go and use for the alarm. So as I said before to go and stop recording there's going to be a square uh, to the left of the recording button tap on that and that will stop it and then to go and listen back to what you've just recorded go and tap on the play button just like so and then you can go and hear what you've just gone and recorded. So once you're happy with it and you want to go and use it as your alarm sound then all you need to do is go and tap on this downwards arrow in the top left just like so tap on it and then you want to go and tap on my songs just like so and it's going to go and say saving and as you can see I've got quite a few here I've got four the most recent one my song four is the one I've just done um, of course the number is going to go up so if I made another one it'd be my song five so that's literally it then all you want to do is hold your finger on this one here or the most recent one you want to go and use as your ringtone you probably just have one which is my song then once you have this list of options here you need to go and tap on share just like so and then as you can see we can go and choose a format for it and we can go and create a custom ringtone for your iPhone and you can go and use a ringtone as an alarm sound. So go and tap on that just like so and as you can see we can go and export it. So I'm going to go and name this um, new custom or something like that so new custom like that and then go and tap export and as you can see it's now exporting as a ringtone. So once this is finished I want to quickly show you how you can go and create another uh, because you basically need to go and create a new file. So if you now want to go and create another song, go and tap on the plus button. And now what it's gonna go and do is go and create my song five in my case, or my song one or my song two for you. Depends how many you've got so far. Um, and that's literally it. And you can go and open it up again by clicking my songs. And as you can see, I'm on my song five. I can go and open up my song four again. But now I want to go and show you how you can now go and set the sound with your alarm. So here we are back on my phone. So let's go and open up the clock just like so and go and create a new alarm with this sound. So here we are on alarm and I'm now gonna go and press new and I've got to set alarm for then and then go and press on sound just like so. And as you can see at the top, we've got ringtones and we've got custom ringtone, my song test and new custom. New custom is the one I literally just made now. These others are ones I've done before. So I can now tap on new custom and if I had my sound on loud and then it will start playing now so you can hear what it sounds like and it will also start playing once the alarm goes off. And that's literally it guys. We can now go and set that alarm with new custom and there we go, it's gonna go off any minute. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.